Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to create this graphic right here that it was just for my previous project that you might have seen. And this is basically an asset created in Nuke, and it's meant to be procedural in case any changes happen. So this is where it was placed. And this is an oscilloscope. It's basically a device that measures electricity or voltage over time. So we have a reference image right here of how that should look like. And this is how it should look like. So we needed to create an asset for that. And the reason I'm showing you this is because if you think about bulletproofing any changes that might happen. And so I'll show you my approach. Okay, let's get to it. So we start off with very simple expressions right here that create different type of lines. And you can further explore that in Expressions 101 Greeting Tutorials in Sidenewpedia, written by Pedro Andrade and Matt Estella. So they will explain it better if you want to understand how this works. But here we have two different type of expressions and you'll see there's a reason for that. But the first one, okay, so what this expression is doing is drawing these type of lines, but also we can map them using the slice tool. So we have the expression and we can map that. And how can we make this line move? Right now it's just mapped. It's plotted into two dimensional image, X and Y axis. But how can we make this move? Well, this tool, it's just basically reading position one and position two from this image. So it's reading this pixel and this pixel. So if we move this two position points across the image, we'll get something like this. And how can you make this procedural? Well, First thing is you can always change that animation inside the curve editor or the dope sheet. So we already know that this has to be animated across the whole frame range. So saying that you can always fix this. We want something else and we want this to have different amplitude, basically a random amplitude. So. It's basically a random expression with a seed of one. That is, it has a frame as an input. So the frame will be divided by 20, which means it's the frequency of the random expression. And this would be the amplitude of the random expression. Saying that it's, it means that this will oscillate randomly across the frame range of a value of 0.2 and the frequency of how this will oscillate would, will be the input frame divided by 20. So let's take a look at that. We can check that in here. Yep, so you can see here how the random expression works. And that's for the black point. And for the white point, it's the same. So we want the black point, the negative black point, whatever we have here, plus one. So we have control of that. So if we take a look at that before plotting the graph, we can see this type of image which is basically the lines being alterated by the grade randomly. So it looks like we're increasing the contrast and the behavior of that would result in a random amplitude whenever we, we plot this. So this will, be, will go up and down because we are basically tweaking the white point and the black point. So 
this will have a random expression as you can see here we can draw this here so you can see where it was and how it changes so in case uh, this is just uh, to make the graph more organic in a way because this is also driving the story forward saying that since the demo organ is getting closer here it's being more of a threat then the graph should be more more alterated it should be more random it should be basically faster and this creates a, an energy behind and subtly it's it's subconscious so that's one thing so we already have this plotted we know why we're plotting it that way and you can see it, it gets faster over time and that's because of the curve editor going here like this so we already have the lines a random random amplitude which is basically a great node in the white point and the black point and we plot it and this is just uh, to take the alpha so just to make sure we have an alpha for that and if you understood this then you can basically clone this so we have a tangent we have a random amplitude which is the clone version since this is a group you cannot clone this but you can transfer the data basically linking those two and this is how it looks why because it's the tangent of this curve you can see it has the same parameters so x divided by 20 and the tangent of that divided by 4 plus 5 plus 0.5 and this is the same for the sign so this wouldn't work well, it would work, but it would just not be the tangent of this curve. But this is merely an artistic representation of a glitch. This doesn't necessarily would happen in an oscilloscope, but when we have this, we kind of feel that the graph is glitching. So saying that, and it will move according to this curve as well, because we have the same parameters, linked expressions and cloned and this will just happen at certain point of the of the graph and again you can change this here whenever you want this will act as a switch so that's it this is how you can create that graphic this is just the tip of the, of the iceberg in expressions we covered how to think procedurally how to create this graphic and also how to drive this storytelling forward by animating assets that will affect subconsciously how we perceive the shot thank you and that'll be it for today see you the next time